Hello. Hello. Well, we're in front of our couch, which can only mean one thing. <laughs> the Cernamese it's food video, video or the Hama <laughs> video. Actually, this is a Q&A update video. It's been nearly a year since we decided to move to the Netherlands and what a wild ride it's been. In today's video, we're going to be answering your questions uh -oh. and sharing some major life updates. And we're going to be celebrating 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So stick around. You need to blow up? I blew up the candles last time. Do you want to blow them oh, up this time? I get to blow yeah, you blow them up this time. Okay. On behalf of everyone out there. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wow. You did much better than I did. Good job. Yay. I learned from your mistakes. Oh, thank nice. you. Thank you so much for all the support yeah, you've been giving you so us much. over the last year on YouTube. I cannot believe that we're at 5,000 subscribers. And it's really, truly been so much fun to see so much of the Netherlands and have this be sort of an excuse to do it. Mm -hmm. I, we were just talking to someone yesterday about how we don't think that we would have gotten through the winter without having the vlog to force us to go out and... It's very true. ...go see the cities despite the weather. <laughs> <laughs> and this apple tart is from Dudok. I know for 1,500 subs, we did Yumbo, so we're doing a little bit of an upgrade. A lot of bit of an upgrade. <laughs> what are we going to do for 10? I don't know. Get forks? Uh, we're going to eat... No, we're eating this with our hands. <laughs> We don't have forks. Still Yumbo uh, whipped cream, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you guess which grocery store we live closest to? I think everyone knows we already live really close to a Yumbo. Not for long, though, mm -mm. because we're going to have a big announcement later in the video because we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. If you watched our cost of living video, you know that we spend way too much on the apartment that we live in today mm -hmm. in Rotterdam and... We're excited to share more about that later in the video, so definitely stay tuned. But for now, let's eat some some apple tart and answer people's questions. Yeah, don't don't eat that wax. Right oh, there, let me get that wax right yeah. off. Yeah. Whoa. That's an interesting choice. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, that was a choice. All right. It's <laughs> mm. so good. We put out an ask for questions and we got a ton of them. So we're gonna divide this section up into two parts. And first up, we're gonna answer some questions about us. So Cassie and Holland asked, how did you guys meet? Well, why are you looking at me? <laughs> we met uh, freshman year of college in Theater 101. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Which, uh, it was a general to... education class. We had to take something like yes, that. Yes, it was like you had to pick. We don't like, have an interest in dinner. Maybe like five different random classes. And we both picked Theater 101. Neither of us love theater. so. Yeah. And I asked her friend to introduce me to her. And she did. And we dated for two months. Mm -hmm. We broke up. And then we got back together three years later. And we've been together ever since. Dutch Life 1987 asked, are you guys married? We are yes. married. Yes, we've been married for 13 years, almost. Oh my God. 13 years in a few months. It's so long. I know, we got married in 2010, which is hard to believe. Yeah, maybe we'll show you some wedding Oh pictures. yeah, I'll put a wedding picture up right here. Look how young we are. <laughs> Sarwati B asked, how long do you plan to stay in the Netherlands? Very good question. Um, I think right now, you know, we are, we go through like a renewal for our residence permit. So it's two years and then five years. And um, I mean, currently our plans are to stay here like indefinitely. Yeah, right? we have no plans to leave. Yeah. We'll stay here as long as the Netherlands will have us. Percy DeVries asked, why did you choose the Netherlands and how did you learn about the country? I think there's two things that brought us here. One, we visited and we really liked the country. Mm -hmm. And then two, they have the DAFT visa, the, a visa program where I, as a freelancer, could actually move here. Yeah. Fairly easily. It made it pretty easy. It did make it pretty easy. We had visited here because KLM had just re recently introduced a new flight from Austin to Amsterdam. And we were, well, I mean, we were supposed to take it in 2020. Remember that? Oh, and the flight yeah. got canceled for like two years. I forgot about um, that. So after COVID, we decided to take the flight again. And because it was so easy, came to Amsterdam, really fell in love with it and just decided that like eight weeks later. Yeah, eight weeks later, we'd move here. Thanks, KLM. Yeah, thanks, You're KLM. part of the reason why we're here. Near from home asked, cats? And speaking of cats. Well, you didn't answer the question. Well, I mean, cats. Cats. We have Where'd two. the other one go? I don't know. She, she was, was here. here, and I thought she was going to be in the video, and 
She's she's a little camera shy. Speaking of cats. Do you like cats? Do you like delicious Dutch food? Then we have just the thing for you. Check out our new merch at shop.buncharted.com. These cute designs come in t-shirts, sweatshirts, and things to hold your drink of choice. That's shop.buncharted.com. You don't have to buy it, but it's there if you want it, because these cats are cute. Okay, back to the video. For the second part of the video, let's talk about life in the Netherlands. Frank Gertz 74 asks, when will we hear both of you speak Dutch? You mean outside of the uh, poor pronunciation of cities in the videos? Gosh. Shevengen. Denbosch. We're in the Kop Van Zweed neighborhood. I am, um, we are really excited to be taking an intensive Dutch course starting this summer. We've had a lot of really bad false starts yes. in learning Dutch here so far. Mm -hmm. We've tried Duolingo and Memrise and that just doesn't work. And then we tried a YouTube channel that a few of you recommended and what we found is pronunciation is really hard. We need someone to tell us when we're doing something, when we're pronouncing something wrong. Mm -hmm. um, because there's a lot of times that we'll say something and we'll be like, yeah, we're 100% sure. And then we'll say it to someone, like a Dutch person, they'll just look at us and be like. And then the conversation starts in English because. Probably going to do private classes for the first part and then in person for the second part. But, you know, the, our expectations are, are fairly low because introductory Dutch is doesn't really take you all that far, yes, unfortunately. We read through like what you can accomplish. In after 16 the, weeks or something. Yeah, after the first course. It was uh, it was really eye-opening, but also I think helped us understand just how difficult it is to learn a new yeah. language where, yeah, it, it takes a lot of work. But regardless, we're really excited just yeah. to get a class in, start to work on our pronunciation, be get able to order things down. in Dutch mm -hmm. confidently. I, I look forward to like it, it helping us feel like we're a part of our community yeah. a lot more than we do now. Yes. Katie No IE asks, any medical or dental experiences to share? How is it the same or different than it was in the US? So in the Netherlands, uh, your GP is basically your gatekeeper, for lack of a better word. That sounds like kind of negative, but like it's it, not, it's no. not. In the yeah. United States, there's been this growth of this new healthcare or health insurance thing called a PPO, which is essentially a healthcare plan that allows you to go directly to a specialist. And in the Netherlands, you, you don't do that. You go through your GP, your GP refers you to the specialist. And the specialists tend to work in like hospitals. And mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of off-putting. Yes. But I went to the hospital, it was really nice. Everything was there. It was, everything was really well run. I, I mean, so far it's been a great experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think when you were going to the hospital for your appointment, you are kind of nervous because hospitals in the US, at least from my experience, tend to be like scary. chaotic. Yeah, like chaotic and scary. Like you're going there because like something's wrong, mm -hmm. you know? And it was odd to go there for a specialist appointment, but it was, it was a great experience yeah. for you. No dental experiences yet. No, we should probably get, we should probably go with some get on that. Yeah. And another question from Katie is, what's the best day trip you've had so far? Um, or what's the best overnight trip and your favorite European city you visited? Best day trip. I mean, I can tell you the two day trips that we had in the Netherlands that were great. And I can tell you which non Netherlands city we love. Yeah. You want okay. to do that? Yeah, let's I mean, I think we probably both agree that the two best day trips that we've had so far in the Netherlands are Amersfoort mm -hmm. because we just had a lot of fun there. I mean, I don't, I, I think we went in and I, I don't know what we expected, but it was just so much fun to walk around the city that day. And I think a lot of it was just um, the fact that it was one of the first nice days yeah. since the winter. Mm -hmm. And we were just excited to be out in the sun. But we had a lot of fun in Amersfoort. They had old stuff. Yeah. They had all that new stuff. Mm -hmm. They had all the Mondrian stuff. Yep. It was just a very, very fun city. Yeah. The other thing was Maastricht when we went to the Christmas oh, right. market. We really mm -hmm. fell in love with that city. It was just complete. It was very gorgeous. It was so beautiful. Beautiful city. It, it helps that it was at Christmas time. Yeah, the everything Christmas market was, was fun. Decorated and beautiful. But we had a lot of really good food there too, which was not something that I yeah. was expecting at all. Yeah. And that's not to say that the other day trips that we've had in the Netherlands haven't been amazing. It's just when I look back on the vlogs that we've made, those two days in particular particular sort of stand out for me. Yeah, I totally agree. Those are my two favorite too. What favorite is... European city? So I'd say... Um, <laughs> this is really, this is a really hard question. Yeah, it's a really hard question. I'd say I really like Berlin. It was mm -hmm. grungy in a very good way. It was very interesting and different and amazing food and coffee. Um, and uh, I also really loved Bologna. Yeah, Bologna I talk about great. it a lot. Bologna was a beautiful city. 
the food was the best food, some of the best food I've ever had in my entire life. And it was just an interesting vibe. It was just, Italy was a very different experience for us. Yeah, I think Bologna and I think Bratislava um, was up there on the list for me. I think Bratislava was nice because it, it felt like just a very chill city that was very livable and it had a lot of great food. The next question is, do you cook at home and is it easy to replicate home recipes in the Netherlands? I love how we're asking all the questions from Katie. I don't, so. This one's also from Katie. Oh, it is? Yeah, okay. for sure. It is, okay, all right. <laughs> she asked a bunch of questions, they were good questions. Despite what you see in our videos, we do cook at home a lot and we actually try to make a point to eat healthfully at home to counteract all the crap that we eat when we're traveling. Yeah. Not crap, you know what I mean. Whoa. Unhealthy Shots food. fired. Unhealthy food. I have found it pretty easy to replicate a lot of the things that we used to cook at home in Texas here in the Netherlands, so I make breakfast tacos, I still make like enchiladas and quesadillas. When you talk about baking, it starts to be a little bit different mm -hmm. because I know that you've tried to make chocolate chip cookies before with brown sugar and there's not really brown sugar here. Mm -hmm. It's so a little different than it is. You have to alter the recipe. In the United States, yeah. yeah. And there are things that, even in the things that she mentioned that we just can't easily get, like there's no fresh jalapenos here. But like at Yumbo, there's like four different kinds of tortillas. I know, so, the tortilla selection is pretty great. I've been surprised at how easy it is to make most of the things that we want and with maybe just a little bit of alteration. Yeah, definitely. And the last question is for many of you and it's where are you moving <laughs> or when are you moving? Because no one knew where. We're oh yeah, when and When where. and where are we moving? We're moving to Dordrecht. Dordrecht. We could have lived really anywhere in the Netherlands. And our, our hunt was pretty much- Pretty much everywhere in the everywhere Netherlands. Everywhere in the Netherlands. I will say we looked at a lot of apartments in Deventer. Mm -hmm. A lot of apartments. Yep. But ultimately the apartment that best suited our needs ended up being in Dordrecht. I know. Some of you have actually recommended Dordrecht to us on the cost of living video, on the Nimigan video when we asked where we should go in the Netherlands. And we really fell in love with the city. It's a really pretty mm -hmm. city. It's also yeah. really small which we like, but it has a lot of the creature comforts that you would expect. And it's very, it's like 20 minutes to Rotterdam. I know that's, that's really great. Cause I do think, you know, living in Rotterdam for a year now, we we've established a life here and a routine and we're still going to be 20 minutes away from eating at some of our favorite restaurants here. Yeah. So we're renting again mm -hmm. and we don't think that, well, I don't know, maybe we'll live in Dordrecht forever. I don't know but we're still planning on buying a home here after we renew our permit next year. So we'll be doing a vlog in Dordrecht soon and we're excited to show you our new home. We're gonna finally be doing an apartment tour of this place in Rotterdam. So you'll get to see what 2,500 euros a month actually gets you in Rotterdam. So you'll see it as we're shedding it. So tell us, what would you like to see from us this year? Do you want us to schedule a meetup? Do you want us to start a cooking channel? No. Let us know in the comments <laughs> below. And if you're new here, or if you just haven't done it yet, be sure to smash that subscribe button for all of our new adventures. That is probably it. Yeah, that's it. I think we need to get back inside and start packing and move to Dordrecht. Oh boy. So as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for 5,000 subs. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.